Hello, future cloud architects. In today's session, we're going to talk about an essential topic for any cloud architect, database migration. First things first, what is database migration? Imagine you have all your important files stored in a filing cabinet at home. One day, you decide to move to a new house. Instead of keeping your old cabinet, you buy a new one that's bigger and more organised. You carefully transfer each file from the old cabinet to the new one, ensuring everything is in its right place. Database migration works similarly. It's the process of moving data from one database system to another. This could be because you're upgrading to a more powerful system, switching to a different technology, or consolidating multiple databases into one. But why would you need to migrate a database in the first place? Here are a few common reasons. Upgrading technology. Maybe your current database is outdated and you want to move to a newer, more efficient system. Scalability. As your business grows, you might need a database that can handle more data and more users. Cost efficiency. Sometimes migrating to a different database system can save money on licenses or maintenance. Consolidation. If your organization has multiple databases, you might want to combine them into a single unified system for easier management. Now, let's talk about the different types of database migration. Understanding these will help you choose the right approach for your needs. Consolidation is when you move data from several source databases into a smaller number of target databases, or even just one. Think of it like combining multiple small filing cabinets into one big, organised cabinet. This simplifies management and can improve efficiency. Distribution is the opposite, moving data from one source database to several target databases. It's like taking one big filing cabinet and splitting its contents into several smaller, specialised cabinets. Redistribution involves migrating data from several source databases to several target databases. Picture combining data from multiple cabinets and then organising it into several new cabinets based on specific criteria. One crucial aspect of database migration is consistency. But what does that mean? Consistency ensures that the data in the target database is accurate, complete and in the correct order, just like it was in the source database. There are three main pillars of migration consistency. Complete. All the data you intend to migrate is moved. Nothing is left behind. Duplicate free. Each piece of data is migrated once, avoiding any duplicates in the target. Ordered. Data changes are applied in the same sequence as they occurred in the source. Next up, let's discuss two migration strategies, active-passive and active-active. Active-passive migration. In an active-passive setup, the source database remains active and can be modified during migration. The target database is passive, meaning it's read only until the migration is complete. This is simpler but can involve some downtime when you switch over. Active-active migration. In an active-active setup, both the source and target databases are active and can handle read and write operations simultaneously. This allows for near zero downtime but introduces complexity, especially around conflict resolution if the same data is modified in both databases. Let's talk about the architecture of a database migration system. Think of it as the blueprint that outlines how data moves from the source to the target databases. Key components, migration service, the central tool or service that orchestrates the migration process. It extracts data, transports it and transforms it as needed. Source and target databases. These can reside in different environments, like on-premises servers or various cloud platforms. Now let's break down the data migration process into manageable steps. First data extraction. This is the first step where data is extracted from the source databases. There are two primary methods. Change data capture, CDC. 
This method captures changes in real time by reading transaction logs. It ensures that every change is tracked and migrated in the correct order. Example, differential querying. If CDC isn't available, this method involves periodically querying the source database to find changes based on timestamps or sequence numbers. Data transformation. Sometimes data needs to be transformed to fit the target database's structure or to improve data quality. This can include data type. Transformation, changing data types, like converting a timestamp to a string. Data structure transformation, altering how data is organized, such as splitting a single table into multiple tables. Data value transformation, modifying the actual data values, like converting time zones from local time to UTC. Once extracted and transformed, the data is inserted into the target database. It's crucial to maintain the correct order of operations to preserve data integrity. After migration, you need to verify that all data has been accurately and completely transferred. This involves checking that all intended data is present. There are no duplicates. The data is in the correct order. T. Despite careful planning, things can go wrong during migration. Let's discuss how to handle migration failures to ensure data integrity. 1. Error. Failures can occur due to network issues, software bugs or hardware failures. It's essential to have mechanisms in place to prevent data loss and maintain consistency. Strategies. Retry mechanisms. Automatically retry failed operations. Transaction logging. Keep detailed logs of what's been migrated to resume from the last successful point. Backup systems. Regular backups ensure you can restore data if something goes terribly wrong. 2. Recovery. If a failure happens, the migration system should identify the last successful migration point, know where to pick up from. Resume migration, continue transferring data from the last known good state. Verify data integrity, ensure no data was lost or duplicated during the recovery. Example, if the migration stops halfway due to a network outage, the system should restart from where it left off once the connection is restored. Let's look at some common pitfalls in database migration and how to avoid them. First order violations. When migrating data, especially in parallel processes, maintaining the correct order of transactions is vital. If changes are applied out of order, it can lead to inconsistencies. Solution. Ensure that your migration system processes and applies data in the exact sequence they were captured from the source. Second, consistency violations. Using methods like differential querying can sometimes lead to inconsistencies, especially if changes aren't captured accurately. Solution, preferred change data capture, CDC, over differential querying when possible, as it provides a more reliable and ordered way to capture changes. 3. Missing or duplicate data. Data might be missed or duplicated due to failures or improper handling during the migration. Solution, Implement thorough verification steps to compare source and target databases, ensuring all data is accounted for without duplication. 4. Handling local transactions. If clients write to both source and target databases independently, it can cause inconsistencies if one write succeeds and the other fails. Solution. Use coordinated migration systems that ensure atomicity, Either both writes succeed or both fail, maintaining data consistency. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to database migration. Whether you're upgrading your systems, consolidating data, or moving to the cloud, understanding these fundamentals will set you on the path to a successful migration. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to CERT Prep for more easy to understand tech guides. Have questions or topics you'd like us to cover? Drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.